The future of Ghana depends on the investments made in the youth today. It is the surest way to improve the economy and boost trade. The government of Ghana, through its partners, have secured the future of the next generation through the Youth Start Ghana Jobs and Skills Project, where 50,000 youth across all districts of Ghana were given the needed boost to either start their businesses or improve existing ones. The first year of the project is an indication that the Nane Kufuado led government is committed to the development of the youth and the economy. Youth Start is a well thought through program designed to create opportunities for young people to create jobs for themselves and to also utilize their creativity and innovation and to build new opportunities for other people in, as far as the economy is concerned. This project has been designed to provide the youth of Ghana support and training. The first phase of this intervention is an entrepreneurial training program that will focus on building the mindset and the youth of Ghana to prepare them to start, grow and own their own businesses. The focus of this intervention is threefold, the basic, the intermediate and advanced. And at every stage, the youth will be assessed to ensure that they are really growing their businesses, they are really designing the right business plans to be able to move on to the next level. The GJSP has been a learning care for all the participants and guided them to identify the economic opportunities available to them. They have transformed these opportunities into thriving businesses they are proud of. Before I, I came for the basic uh, level, I was a mobile money vendor. And currently, as I'm speaking, I'm able to secure the land in which I used to do the mobile money and then I've mold a container and then I'm doing printing press more small. Medjume Yankasa was birthed during Ustart's program. He has started basic, you know. And we are improving because of Nzama Yerusian Wahano. I'm a man who is a PR, Mr. Kahua, or be improved in sales. Me ba basic, you know. Yeah, try a study and be a branding, yeah, be branding, yeah, product, you know. Any acquire, yeah, be fast one, yeah, be ma a humane to me acquiring. Now first, now me near label or me a product, you know. But me call, you know, my comma say yeah, yeah, and now and your market and it's a bit more of a man funk account. Me dear, no so can. They say ah, me business, you know, acquiring him kakra kakra. And Crofweni Jimuna or Moto. Okay. Referral. Referral. My expectation was that everything we taught them wouldn't just remain with them and that they would start practicing it into their business. I mean, incorporating everything they were taught into their business. After they came for the intermediate, majority of them have testified that whatever they learned in the basic are being incorporated in their businesses and it is helping them. So I think our expectations have been met. The curriculum has been well developed and on the entrepreneurship, through the Kaizen, through the finance, anybody who really goes through this curriculum should be in a position to be able to do business and do it better. Um, it will interest you to know that this morning we had a testimony where somebody actually said that some of the principles that we started learning from Monday, she went to him, she said, Baker, they began to implement those principles and they've already started having results. So I'll say the curriculum is very, very good. And with the way that um, you're facilitating and teaching A, uh, it would really, really make an impact. And I have even started seeing some impact uh, as far as my participants have concerned. Mr. Nipani. He's been very good. He's our trainer. He's been very, very good. Oh, he tries to make the class very inter interactive. They are starting on, and when they be more hard, they feel say, because one makes it, we'll be on an educational level, and somewhere a bit intimidated. But I'll try the Obama my Obia, why ye, one year, it starts in our country, and there, Obia, and I was here some. And see, you see, Obia feel okay. You don't feel there, we are stressed in man, are they? We've been networking, it's been excellent. My trainers, they are really good. At that point, I was like, no, this man, I have to go and see him for 
personal discussion because the way he, he brings up the ideas, he just sit down and say, ah, has he been into this business before? So one time I was like, say, please, have you been a hairdresser before? He, he said no. So my trainers, they are very good. Beyond the skills and network attained from the training, the U-Stats GJSP beneficiaries also stood the chance to win grants to invest in their businesses. If I'm able to secure the grant, I'm, I'm going to start my own fish farm, you know, constructing it and then so that I can be able to better service my clientele. Currently, I'm using one, print, one printer. So if I receive the grant, I'll, I have to purchase very nice printing machines to come and then expand. Like printing prints, they used to print banners. Currently, because of financial restraint, I, I'm not able to buy such machines. So if the grant is given to me, I'll make sure that I had these machines and then I can, do, I can add more works to my business. This training has been very helpful. If I'm able to get to the advanced level, get a grant, I'll be able to start my business. And if I'm not able to do that, if I'm not able to get a grant, I certainly know the knowledge I've gotten, even from the intermediate level, it's more than enough to help me push my small business to a higher level. While the training has ended in all the districts, the GEA is determined to continue to be a pillar of support for these new business owners by providing direction and support to be able to grow their businesses into world-class brands. Aside the grant, um, the other support that GEA is going to give the beneficiaries is mentoring and coaching. Our doors are opened 24 hours to all the beneficiaries to come ask questions, ask for guidance in order to thrive in their businesses. We give them counseling, we assist them in records keeping as well. So we are going to follow up and see that uh, the knowledge they've acquired here, they are going to really use it in their business. In fulfillment of the promise of financial support to beneficiaries, the GEA has launched a 100 million Ghana CDs grant to aid beneficiaries to invest in their business idea and to grow them into world-class brands. 5,000 beneficiaries with viable business ideas will benefit from these grants subject to their business needs. Never in this nation's history has government's promises and interventions led to the empowerment of so many people and youth and push so many people in life. Today, we bring these beneficiaries together. Many people will ask why. Since morning, they've been here, they've been coached, trained, and advised on how the funds have to be used. This is not just another intervention. This is a youth start. This is a movement. Our youth needs this too, because they are our greatest assets. Two years ago, um, USTAD was birthed as a project that would allow our nation to reap the benefits of our population dividend through building an entrepreneurial state. And today, uh, we are seeing the benefits um, of that. Today, as has been told, over 50,000 startup businesses and enterprises have received formal training. And we believe, I think in this budget actually, another 200 million CDs uh, will be um, used to make sure that this program becomes the biggest um, employment program that we have seen. The GEA has unleashed a new generation of entrepreneurs who are fired up to own their future and to make the best of the opportunities they have been given. The future is exciting. The future is entrepreneurship. You start unleashing entrepreneurs.